Hi there, this is Ko John here from Learning Out of the Box. And today I'm going to go through a few questions 13 of PSRE 2023 paper 2 problem sums. Okay, so in this case, we always do our CU circle numbers underline keywords. So let's get it done. Okay, so uh, okay, high level, and then uh, there's difference. Okay, so now in this case, uh, you realize that when there's a difference, it's very hard to compare because when we want to compare things, right, it's always an apple to apple comparison. So how can we actually reinstate back to something that is easier to remember or something that we can easily start off with? Yeah, so when there's, when it is above, let's try to make it back to, to the same, right? So can we eliminate or cut away this one? Yeah, and the answer is yes. Okay, so let me say that, imagine uh, what do you want? Mm, green tea okay so this 5 cm uh, is, is like uh, this layer so let's cut it away okay let's cut it away so we have a five cm here okay so this volume uh, in fact you can do a very quick calculation it will be uh, volume is equals to equals to 30 times 20 times 5 and there is 3,000 cm cube. Okay. Okay. So at least I think it's a good start because we can actually have a calculation from here. Yeah. And if you, if you look at math, right, in fact, it's all about calculations. Okay. So for part A, our our volume um, of that 5 cm height uh, water is actually 3,000 cm cube. Okay. And you can do the working, which is, 5 times 30 times 20. Okay, so there is this kind of question now, which is, since it is extra, less minus of, yeah, so if, if same height, right? If same height, you'll have, then the volume is actually, twenty-one thousand four hundred minus of 3,000 and you'll get 18,400 cm cube and it is being uh, shared between X and Y. Okay, so that's, this kind of question is quite common. Uh. In fact, we have this in our LB book uh, for the longest time. Yeah, so I'm so glad that we are able to spot this question for this PSLE. Okay, so this kind of question you must ask, um, since this is a combined, combined volume and it's going to be the same height, and if you imagine that this is a very big tank, uh, no matter what kind of shape the tank is, when it has a shed, uh, when it's combined sharing the same base area, the height should be the same, right? I mean, when you pour water into a tank, even though it's, reg it's, it's irregular, it should be the same height no matter, uh, regardless of the points of the tank. Yeah. So this, the technique to do this uh, is to find a combined base area. which is 20 times 10 for 10xn, 30 times 20 for 10 quai, which is 800 cm square. Okay? okay? And then for the height, you take the combined base, combined volume, divided by the combined base area, and the height is going to be the same everywhere. And anyway, this is what we call com um, same height pressure, and it's 23 cm. Okay? And that's the answer for this. Okay, what about for B? Okay, for B, um, and pot, 3,300 cm cube, circle the numbers, of water out of tank Y, and then tank Y was the, then half, uh, half, okay, let's put a fraction here, so it's half, filled with water. What was the height of tank Y? Okay, so in this case, uh, to find the height of tank Y, we have to find the total volume of tank Y. Yeah, so let's find the total volume. Without that, you can't find your height because you're going you're gonna to use V equals to LBH, all right? So in Y, your total V uh, is going to be 300 times 20 times answer from A plus 5. Remember the plus 5 back because that was actually the volume of water in Y. And that's 16,800 cm cube. Okay. And 
But for the change, now the new volume, when you pull out right, is going to be 13,500 cm cube. Okay? And this is actually half half of um, the tank. So since it's half of the tank, the one hole or two over two will be 13,500 times two, which is equals to 27,000. Yeah? Okay? And then with your height, you can use volume over length times breadth. So they will divide by 30 times 20 to give you 45 cm. And that is your answer.